Hello, everyone. My name is Zayam Yakul Zerwin from FilmFestivalCircuit.com and the assistant director of the Austin Comedy Film Festival. Uh, right now, we're gearing up for our fall 2023 screening, which is going to take place on October 12th at Central Machine Works in Austin, Texas. Uh, and today, I'm talking with some of our participating filmmakers. Matthew Fitch and Jordan Brown are the team behind Mad Stork. Thank you both so much for meeting with me today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for having us on, Zayami. Uh, so uh, you guys, last year you had Giraffing Me Crazy, uh, another fantastic film, and this year we have Mad Stork, and uh, it ramps up uh, the comedy and the quality. It's such a great one. Tell me what inspired you guys to make Mad Stork. Yeah, um, I can take this question. So I've played in bands since I was in high school, and um, you know, they always say you should write what you know. I thought this was an interesting thing that I knew that other people might find interesting was kind of the behind the scenes of what goes on in a rock band. Not that I've ever been a band as been in a band as chaotic as Mad Stork, but uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be a kind of a cool premise to start from, you know, in the green room with the band before they go on stage, kind of show the anxiety that's there. And uh, I also just thought it'd be really funny to make a film about a really terrible band. There's a lot of films about good bands, but not that many about really bad bands. Totally. Well, uh, I got to say, I love the the whole uh, sequence in the green room. There is this mounting tension on top of just how absurd everyone's backstabbing is. <laughs> but uh, it, it feels like lived experience to an extent. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe to an extent, a very small extent. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jordan? What inspired your role behind this film? Yeah, I just I just love working with Matt. Matt is just such an awesome writer and director. Um, and I love comedy. I, lo I think the genre is so great. Um, and there's a lot that you can do in the comedy space as well, too. And when Matt kind of was like talking to me about this script, I was like, this is it, man. I love it. Let's go all in. Um, and we were, we were coming off Draft Me Crazy as well, too, which is what we worked on last year as well, too. So it just made perfect sense to want to work together again. Um, and yeah, I think uh, I think I can speak for Matt on, you know, it's um, not really real situations, but exaggerated to a T, but kind of real, you know, so it's like in that realm of like personal experience, but like highly exaggerated as well, too. So I think it, it I think it really comes across well on camera. So totally. Well, uh, uh, tell me about this. Um... Uh, I'm really curious about uh, how you did your casting and how you elicited those performances because they have uh, what I would call a very great anti-chemistry. And that's kind of <laughs> the point, you know. Uh, and, and yeah, I mean, you've got such great personalities, such distinct characters. How did you make that work? Uh, yeah, I think we, we pulled together a really great cast on this one. Um, some of the cast, like um, the guy that played Chester, the singer, that's a guy that we've known and worked with for years. He was in Giraffing Me Crazy. Um, and he's actually, you know, when he's not acting, he's uh, actually an R&B singer. Oh, really? He's got, yeah, he makes albums. And so I thought it was just a great way to kind of show that aspect of his talent. Totally. Just to kind of bring him in to let him be a, uh, be a singer. And then uh, our guitarist and our bass player david and zegan we found both of those guys on backstage just really lucky finds on backstage and val is uh, my girlfriend actually and she plays the drums so excellent kind of worked out yeah that way. i i really wish grant were here on the yeah. call as well too because grant was our second ad and also kind of casting you know so he was helping matt with the casting that was pretty much all of matt and grant um, and then he was helping like as the second AD with the background extras and actors as well to on set. Um, and both Matt and Grant knocked it out of the park with these finds. I mean, super awesome. Uh, I, I, so just a shout out to Grant as well, too, because yeah. he was a big part of that as well alongside Matt. That's all Matt and Grant right there. So, yeah, really great choices. And even with the costuming, they all feel like uh, such band people. I guess I can <laughs> yeah. say. Yeah. That. That was huge. That was a big thing. I know Matt and I both came into it when before we even had anybody cast. We we're like, we really want them to be able to play the instrument. That would be great. You know, we don't want to just fake it. We would totally. love for them to be able to play that instrument that they're going to be portraying to really give it that real feel. Okay, totally. Yeah, and it really comes through and it adds that just extra echelon of quality and believability. Uh, and when it all goes awry, it hurts just that much more. Yeah. Um, well, I'm curious, what was the, uh, uh, the uh, onset dynamic like? Uh, you know, because there's there's few locations, but they're key. And the uh, the, the concert itself is teeming with people and it's got to be a tricky shoot in the dark. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious, what was it like on set? 
Yeah, I think um, I'll go first on that yeah. one, Matt, maybe. Uh, just kind of along the line of production. And so I don't know if it was clear, but so I'm the I'm kind of the producer and then Matt was the director. So we really work together well. A lot of times I'm like also an AD. He's also the writer. You know, we kind of work okay, together totally. like that. Uh, but on this one, we had a full crew. I mean, we had, I think it was 20 to 25 people. I mean, we had a full crew. Um, we had a first AD and a second AD, like I was talking about with Grant. And then our first AD, Zach. Uh, so it really allowed me to kind of just be the producer as well, too, and just make sure everything was going smoothly. Um, and yeah, I mean, you brought up the location. That was one of our big things is we wanted to hone in on one location and just tell a really good story. So we don't have to worry about travel. We don't have to worry about company moves. You know, we don't have to worry about all right. that stuff. We can just focus on the one location. And Oscar Blues was an awesome, awesome host. That's here in Austin as well, too. They're a brewery in the domain area. Um, they were an awesome host. We worked with them. Um, they were so great. Like, can't say enough good things about them. Um, and yeah, I mean, anything else to add kind of just on the production side, man, I just, it was so cool. We had such a good team. Uh, I mean, it was, a, like I said, it was, it was a larger group. We had a 20 to 25 people in crew, six to eight actors, principal and supporting. And then we had about 30 extras for the concert. Dang. Stuff. So it was a lot of people. It was a lot of moving parts, but it was a lot of fun. I don't know Excellent. anything else. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, I'd say the onset dynamic was pretty fantastic. We had two shoot days. So the first day was in the green room. We shot the whole green room thing. The second day was when we did all the performance stuff. But what was really key for getting the uh, dynamic right was we had a, a um, like a rehearsal day before all of this. Mm. So all the actors got to meet each other before then, before we actually shot, we went through several times. And then after that, we also went and had a band rehearsal where they all played together so that they got I mean, they weren't like a tight band, but that's right. kind of the point. <laughs> yeah, they, they practice being like off together. I think that was the difference, Matt. That like kind of we called it like our full dress rehearsal. Yeah. Um, the night before, I really think that was the difference when it came to the green room because there was so many moving parts and so many characters coming in and out. I remember Matt, you telling me like, "There's so many actors to watch. Like, I'm not even sure. Like, I need to like yeah. pay attention to everybody." Right. And that rehearsal, I think, really like made it possible for us to knock out that green room stuff in that one night so because yeah, that was like 12 pages to shoot in one yeah, night so we that's were incredible a two shoot days through. for the whole thing yeah well that's awesome i love that tactic in the dress rehearsal it's it's kind of a low pressure thing but people can uh you know get to know each other establish their chemistry you can kind of pre-plan the, the shooting a little bit more uh well so i'm curious guys uh you've got two great films as a collaboration what did you learn uh from the mad stork process yeah, I can take, I'll, I'll take that one again, Matt. Um, and if you have anything else to add, feel free. Uh, yeah, I mean, this, the, the biggest thing that I've learned is that we really can accomplish what we put our, put our uh, minds and resources to, you know, the team that we have, uh, 10 pillar, and then people that are also supporting us as well too, just everybody that's involved in our kind of family um, is a all-star team, you know, whether it's crew, the cast, anybody that we get to be involved in anything that we're working on. I mean, I can't give enough credit to everybody that's a part of it. Like, that's the biggest thing that I've learned is when we kind of combine our resources and really work together as a team. I mean, we accomplish everything like shooting a concert scene at a brewery when they're closed at night. I was so worried about it and we knocked <laughs> it out of the park, you know. So, like, that's the biggest thing that I always learn on set. You know, they're all different and you always have to adapt just because something right. worked on the last one doesn't mean it's always going to work on the next one. So you always are adapting. Um, but I always after every set that we're on together you know, the group that we have, the, the core of it, the expanded group as well, too. I'm always just so impressed with how professional and how good we are as a team and how we continue to work together. And, you know, we're just we're, we're only growing. So it's really cool. It's really exciting to see that team dynamic every time. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we learned a ton on this on this shoot. There was so many firsts. I mean, it was definitely the biggest uh, cast I've worked with, the biggest crew that we've had on anything. Um, our first time working with that many extras, like filling a venue with extras, that was an interesting challenge to tackle. Totally. And um, they didn't know how to do the live scene, the live music scene. I was just about to say challenge. that, Matt. The live scene was a whole different element that like, I remember we were super close to production and I was like, hey Matt, have we kind of thought about like how we're gonna do the audio with like the band <laughs> and the background and the live performance? And that's a shout out to some of our audio guys as well, to Rory, Cisco. Uh, we had a couple people in the audio department that were helping us with not only like the sound mixing, like on set, 
but right. also like that live music audio engineering as well too. Uh, we had a we had an audio team on this one help, and it was like without those guys, we would not have gotten yeah. the same effect. I don't think. I mean, that was a totally. that was a big part that we were just kind of hoping like. I hope our audio guys can really help us on this because you know we're we're just banking <laughs> off you know, their knowledge. So big credit to the audio team as well too. Totally, yeah. You're operating on two different kind of audio schemas when you have a uh, dialogue and actual loud band music. And it's it's tough. It's crazy. It's very very scary to to jump headfirst in that. But I, I feel like the big takeaway is, you know, bring a good crew, and if they all go the extra mile, anything's possible. And clearly, Mad Stork is very ambitious. Uh, but it, it doesn't read like you were, you were, you know, hanging on by a thread. It feels very confident and the quality's there and it's awesome. Uh, well, so I'm curious, what is next for you guys? Any new flicks, any new collaborations? Um, I've got a few scripts that are just kind of, you know, in the early stages, okay. but, uh, nothing, nothing huge right now, but I know that Jordan's got, got some big stuff in the works. Yeah. And, and Matt's being modest. He's got some cool scripts that I'm excited about. We kind of have this comedy and action vibe that we kind of have focused on with our last couple oh, of projects. Um, and the action part is kind of what we've leaned into for our, our feature film called Let Fall the Rain, uh, which we shot uh, in May, June and July-ish kind of this summer. Um, and it is a uh, action kind of post-apocalyptic kind of vibe, a lot of guns, a lot of fighting, you awesome. know, action kind of film. Uh, and it is in post-production right now. So it's completely shot. Oh, we nice. maybe have a couple other like pickup days to get, you know, some establishing shots and stuff like that. But the majority of everything is done. Uh, so that's in post. And then obviously we've always got scripts on the shelf, like Matt's saying as well, too. So, you know, the comedy, the action, that's kind of what we've been leaning into. So okay, we'll probably yeah. find ourselves with an action comedy here pretty soon <laughs> as well, too. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, awesome. And, and is this the first feature for Ten Pillar? First feature for Ten Pillar. Okay. Yeah, man, first, exciting. First official one, yeah. We've had, we've had a couple attempts and a couple things that were like kinda, but definitely first professional feature. Okay, so. that's so exciting. And so, uh, Matt, you also have some scripts cooking. It seems like the momentum is real and uh, it's just gonna keep going up and up from here. For sure. That's, that's exciting. exciting. Well, is there anything else you guys would like to add about Mad Stork? Mm. You got anything, Matt? Jordan? Uh, no, I was just going to say thank you. Thank you for having us. And we're excited about the festival. Um, you know, thanks so much again for even, you know, reaching out and having us, having us on. And uh, we'll, we'll definitely see you at the festival. We're really excited. Yeah. Well, sure. it's, it's my pleasure talking with you guys. It's so exciting to hear uh, the background. And um, I think it's a great flick. Mad Stork is really going to uh, uh, do well at uh, the Austin Comedy Film Festival on October 12th. And, uh, you know, this is something that we didn't touch on, but I feel like it's such a really good Austin movie. Yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it's such a it feels very specifically Austin. It's got the band culture. It's got that, uh, you know, catch a rising star. Let's let's yeah, be successful. I think that's really cool. So I feel like that's another shout out to just why it's going to uh, really read well with people. But thank you both so much. And I'm looking forward to seeing more from you. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you Thanks again for having us. Take care, guys. All right.